record to the cloud. Recording. Okay, cool. So we're recording. Um, ignore any background noise, guys. My husband and his brother decided now was a good time to work on the upstairs bathroom when I'm trying to hide from them. Um, but so I just want to introduce myself. My name's Jamie. Um, I am a very new diamond. I went diamond last month. Um, just a little quick tidbit about my journey with this business. Um, I actually joined Courtney three years ago. Um, I saw her on Facebook. We're friends from college. And I started doing this business. I went Ruby really fast. And I just did not catch the vision at the time. I decided it wasn't for me and I quit. Um, thankfully, you know, this time around, I decided to join again in February. Um, after watching Courtney for three years go from Ruby to Emerald to Diamond to Double to Triple. And then I kicked myself and said, that could have been you. Um, but this time around, I've gone through a lot in the last couple of months. And thankfully, my willpower has changed and my drive, drive, drive? yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, sure, drive. Um, that's changed. And I've been able to stick through this. Um, we had to move out of our house in March and just moved into our new one. So I've been all over the place. And thankfully, I've been able to do this through the ups and downs of COVID and all the moving. Um, but that's my quick introduction on me with this business. You know, I just wanted more money to do extra things. I wanted to be able to get a bigger house, get a nicer car. Um, so that's why I'm here and that's my drive to keep going. But I am super excited to hear from everybody tonight because these ladies have some amazing stories. I love getting to know our team. Um, you know, we always hear from our leaders, but it's nice to hear from each other to really get to know each other. Um, so Danielle, if you are ready, my love, go ahead and unmute yourself. <laughs> Don't make that face. <laughs> Woo, go ahead. My turn. I'm Danielle. I started with Courtney in February. My little backstory of me was I did two other social network marketing companies and they were nothing like this. I had to put out over 5000 for the one to start up and I didn't make any of that back. This one, the pricing was amazing. Um, I, my dad, Backstory, my dad killed himself about five years ago. So I was in a very depressed state. Um, my daughter's father cheated on me the whole entire time we were together. I ended up finding my fiance almost five years ago. Um, he changed my life completely, made me look at life for the positive. Um, not be a Debbie Downer as he always calls me. So I found Courtney through, I think it was a post on Facebook. I'm not even really sure. Um, she talked to me. She told me what the business was about. She told me it was only 99 to start up. And I was like, okay. I said I was going to talk to my fiance, but then I came right back to her and was like, nope, we're signing up. <laughs> um, my first week, I got my, my first six customers. So I got my shopping spree. I, um, I did the business because me and my fiance are actually getting married in March. Um, we want to eventually get a house. He has four kids. I have a daughter, so we need a big enough house for all of us. Um, so that was my main reason. And because I want to get my mom out of debt. My mom has done so much for me personally and has been my backbone through a lot of things, even if she didn't like my decisions. Um, but she was always there for me. So I want to get her out of debt and I want to get her to Florida. Her, her, she retired, but she wants to live in Florida. So that is my main reason for this as well and get us out of debt. So my first, my first week I got my six customers. Um, I missed Ruby my first month by, I think it was like 500 in volume. Um, I was up all hours of the night. At my job, I was working 60 hours a week. Um, Full-time mom, my daughter's dad only really takes her Saturday morning to Sunday night. So I pretty much have her the whole entire time. Um, being a fiance, being a mom, pretty much doing everything, it, 60 hours a week was hard. But I stayed close to Courtney through the whole entire thing. I was up till 12, 1 o'clock in the morning on Zooms. Um, I was asking her what I needed to do, everything like that. And I just pushed. I didn't think it was going to go right. 
but when I missed Ruby the first time for from like 500 in volume I wanted to give up Courtney knew that like I kind of backed off a little bit Courtney knew she came right to me and she was like what's wrong there's something wrong with you what's wrong talk to me so that's what I did I talked it out with Courtney I kind of gave Courtney my all um I bawled my eyes out crying the whole day everything but we talked it out and Courtney said you will never be alone in this business my other two businesses that I did I was left alone the whole entire time as soon as I signed up it was like here you go you're on your own but with this business your leaders know when something is wrong and they are going to come to you when they know something is wrong so you're never alone in this business so don't think that you are so my like I said my first month I missed Ruby but that didn't I backed off a little bit but I kept going and I still pushed there were days where I didn't do anything but it was so hard to recover from that that I learned you you have to do it every single day you have that one day where you can take off and rest but still make sure you're getting up the host post so when you're back on that next day you have all those people to respond to I skipped over well I went ruby and then I actually went emerald last month so I missed by a little bit for diamond but I'm still pushing even though I missed the bonus it doesn't matter with me with the bonus because it's just a bonus like the bonus is amazing but you want to get the income that's going to be there forever so even if you miss it you still keep going if you have questions ask we're here for you and you're never like I said you're never going to be alone you're never going to be alone in the business my thing is this whole entire beginning of the month right now I was able to cut back at my job well they took over the overtime like our overtime but I was able to cut back and just work my 40 hour work week and put my other 20 hours towards this business. So that was with this income that I'm bringing in. I was able to cut back and do more with the business. So I don't have to be up till 12, one o'clock in the morning. Um, right now, like I said, I have my daughter all the time. I'm working from home with my daughter, which is so hard it's she wants me to play all the time she's been in timeout for the past two weeks um that's just how it is i and i'm in the middle of moving i'm moving this weekend it was a quick move we we're going to a different apartment it is bigger we found out on monday we're moving on saturday so it's like it's a big move right now but so i slacked the whole beginning of the month but since they put out us doing host to post and i have well, me and Tish, really, we are accountability and we're sending each other, we're sending it in the chats, the host post tracker. Since I've been doing the host post, I've gotten three customers already in two days and I have two more signing up tomorrow. So you guys have to do your host post. It's not that hard. Um, if you're growing your network, you have all those people to then ask to do your host post. So you want to make sure that you're growing your network every day. I'm better on Facebook. I still have to get better on Instagram, but I am mainly on Facebook and it is, it's amazing. I mean, it's just, host post is where it's at. My first six, six customers I got were all from host post. None of them are family. The only family I've had sign up was my mom. All the other family, they did one month and then they canceled. So it's like, you can't depend on friends or family. None of my friends have done it. My sister's like, I blocked you because I don't want to keep seeing your post anymore. She was like, but I want to, I want to see what your income you're bringing in. I'm like, well, why do you want to see the income if you're not even helping me out? But my, my tip for everybody is make sure you do host to post. If you have questions, do not ask. Don't, do not be afraid to ask. Don't. I mean, it's, we're here for you. Even though I say I work, I'm on my phone all the time. Being home, I'm on my phone. Even at work, I was on my phone. Get on the Zooms, the Zooms. We show you how to do this job, do this business in an hour a day, an hour. They do them in the morning and they do them at nighttime. Like it's, it's very easy 
I don't want to say it's easy, but it's, it can be done if you put your heart into it. And that's all I have. Yay. Guys, I have to tell you, I love Danielle. Danielle is part of like my direct downline and this girl kills it all the time. Like she always kicks my butt and tells me to get back in when I'm freaking on my little sideways. She deals with way more than anybody else and she's always on it. Um, but host a post, the main thing to take away from Danielle's, you know, stories, host a post, staying consistent with your host a post because this girl signs so many customers, so many. So listen and do them. And I'm going to start listening and doing them too. I want in on this accountability thing with you and Tish. Um, <laughs> so we're going to go to, I think I said Chelsea was going to be next. Chelsea, where you at girl? Unmute yourself. Don't make me find you. I'm right here. I'm right okay, here. Yeah, I gotta find you. Gotta find me. <laughs> okay, so my son is in the room and my boyfriend's in the room. So if you hear screaming, yelling, it's just it. Okay, so my name's Chelsea. I am 21 and I joined the bit back at the end of April, I think it was. Um, okay, I'm already drawing a blank and I just started. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll start off by saying I have ADHD and ODD. I don't know if anyone knows what that is. So if I'm all over the place, that would be why um, I can't stay focused long enough. My medicine's actually wearing off as I eat. So, <laughs> okay. So um, I guess I'll start. Um, whenever I was in middle school, um, I really didn't have like mother-daughter companionship type deal and like I got really um interacted with the wrong group of kids and I would sneak out of my bedroom through my window <laughs> and I would go with my friends or who people I thought were my friends and we would go out we would go do Molly we'd go do ecstasy we'd go do um oxy like we would do like the whole shebang like um I almost OD twice. Um, my mom still to this day does not know about it. So like if my mom sees this, like <laughs> sorry. Um <laughs> uh I really didn't have like my mom really didn't pay much attention to us as kids. Um she would rather be on her computer or like talking to people, going through Facebook or whatever. Um, I also struggled with um suicide in um, middle school and high school. Um, I had three attempts and two suicide letters. Um, my friend actually um, stopped me the one time, like, as I was getting ready to jump off the chair, like, it was, it was pretty intense. Um, around whenever I was about eight or nine, see, see, I'm, I'm like completely out of chronological order here. Um, <laughs> my quote unquote dad, I don't call him my dad because like, I don't know who my real dad is. Yeah, that's just for a different day. But, um, my dad would like grab me around the chest and like lift me up to go like shoot basketball. You know, I was nine years old. I really didn't know like what that was. So, um, it went on up until I was about 16 or 17. Um. And then one day my mom wasn't home and he was like, is it cold in here or are you just happy to see me? You know, I was 16 years old and like didn't know what that meant. And I went to my bedroom right away because like I was, he made me feel uncomfortable or he said that. Um, and then he came in. I'm not going to go into details because like I really don't want to like start crying. Uh, Cindy, you're actually the reason, like, I wanted to open up and people about this because, like, most people, I guarantee, have went through what we have went through, but they're not willing to open up and talk about it. So, I'm not going to go into details. Um, oh, boy. But, um, shortly after, like, I told my mom she didn't believe me for the longest time, and... It went on another year or so, and then I only told my mom what happened. And 
he was like, oh, you're fine. He's not that type of type of person. And like into my head, I was like, well, you were married to this man for like six years. Like you should know what type of man he was. Um, so then once I finally got my mom to believe me because she left my mark on, um, on my right shoulder, um, we turned in and he only got probation. He didn't get any jail time, anything. Um, and I think that's, um, that's what hurt me the most because he made me seem like the victim. Like all my fault. Um, <laughs> um he made me feel like it was all my fault. Like my grandparents didn't talk to me for the longest time. Um my grandparents recently started talking to me at Flesh You about two years ago and my grandma passed away a year after it's like i missed about 13 years of like my grandparents and my sperm donor for say um and then after i turned my dad in and he only got like probation and he had to go like two like these parent classes. I don't even consider him a parent. Um, and then I had a boyfriend who did the exact same thing. Like, she held me down against my will and, like, forced herself on me. Um, I actually had a miscarriage. Um, I didn't know about it until, like, it was too late and it was, like, already, like, said and done in the toilet type deal. And I called my mom crying. And I was like, Mom. She's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I think I was pregnant and I miscarried. And she's like, wait, 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 you're having sex? And I'm like, uh. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. And after that, um, I kind of like steered away from guys for a while. Um, and then I got into the current relationship I'm in now, which like I couldn't be any more grateful for. Like, I got with him my senior year, and like whenever I saved, like he saved me, like he saved me. Um, I was doing, I started to do drugs again. I started to drink. I started to like have those suicidal thoughts again. And like whenever I got with him, he was just like, "Okay, you don't have to worry about me judging you or whatever." Like he's very okay. He's very listening, but he's not very good at giving advice. Like, I don't know how many of you, like, have, like, boyfriends or, like, guy friends like that. But um, we were together for almost a year, and then I found out that I was pregnant. Um, I would have to say pregnancy was, like, one of the greatest things because I was going through, like, one of those ruts again where, like, I just wanted to, like, commit suicide and whatever. You Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. After that, um, I had my son in 2019. Get that out. Um. And I started after I had my son. I realized that if he gave me like I would no, don't touch. I would. Um. I forgot where I left off. You can't touch that. Um, I don't remember. Oh you boy. left off where, yeah. yeah. Sabrina, you're muted. After you had, oh, okay. So after I had my son, um, I realized that there was more to life than like, trying to kiss help and whatever like I asked God so many times for a sign like not to give up and then I found out that I was pregnant um so he is definitely like my why reason like why I started I haven't had like stable jobs the past like since I moved out of my mom's house yeah, yeah. 
Oh, thanks, Jess. Um, but I haven't had a stable job because okay. my anxiety is so high that I can't be in a public place for longer than like 20 minutes without freaking out. Um, so, and another reason why I joined was I can do this from the comfort of my own home. My home is my space. I was actually just talking to Jess about that um, earlier today. Um, home is my safe place because, like, I don't, I don't know. I can't really explain why it's my safe place, but it is. Um, but yeah. So I would, if I would have to give one tip, it would help me. I would definitely have to agree with what Danielle said. Host of post, host of posts are like a God-given gift in my, in like, in my opinion, because I put up one host of post one day, like a host of post giveaway, like, I guess it would be a host of post giveaway, but I put it up on my page, and I got 40 host of posts up, just that one. Oh, thank you. Um, but I got up 40 host of posts with one, one simple status. You can't touch that. Talk about your pre-selling and how you started. Um, how I started. Um, my friend Autumn came to me and she was like, hey. I'm like, hey. She's like, have you ever considered working from home? And I'm like, yeah, I have. And she's like, okay, blah, 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 the next script. And I'm like, Autumn? She's like, yeah. I'm like, is this really you? She's like, yes. Because, like, you know, I've been through, like, so many, like, scam type deals. I didn't know like what to believe and what not to believe. So just um so that is how I got started and then I get she recently um quit like interacting with the company so like I I started going to Jeff and Sabrina a lot more. How you pre sold? I don't remember how I pre sold. <laughs> uh, yeah thanks <laughs> so um i started actually with messaging my family to pre-sell sorry it's been it's just been a around bucks to say i'm really nervous and i'm surprised we got to the beginning of this um <laughs> but i pre-sold to family and friends first and i think i sold one to a friend and one to a family member my mom yeah, told yeah. me that my mom told me that she would never support my business because it's a pyramid scam. And now the other day she came to my house and she was like, oh, well, how did you avoid that, um, that big box of toys? Or I can't remember. Oh, no. She said, how, could, how did you afford a new printer and computer? I said, well, with my job, like my first income might have been $20 or my first paycheck might have been $20. So this one was 80, like 87. And I went out and I got a new printer for $30, and I had money for a laptop, and I used the rest of that money to get a new laptop, and I gave my other one to Jess, because she was in need of one. So this opportunity has left me, like, really expand, I guess. Um, uh, another reason I started was I want my kids to have better than what I had growing up. Um, I want them to have a better life than I had. And with this business, I can guarantee once I hit that diamond, like, I am out of government housing. Like, I am going to get my own house. I'm going to pay it in cash. Like, I can see it. Like, it's on my dream board. I have it with me. But my dream board is I want my own house. I want my own car. I want my – I want a, I want a big house. Like, there's only three of us, but I want a really big house with, like, a room. I mean, I'll have to hire a maid because, like, there's no way I can clean that many that many rooms. But um <laughs> but I I think I think that's all I really had to say. Chelsea, what I wanted to hit on is when you <laughs> got put into a group chat with me, do you remember that? You got put into a group chat with me and what did you do when you got into that group chat? You had no idea who I was, but what was your like you were like gung ho, tell me what to do. I'm gonna pre-sell these samples. And what time frame did you pre-sell those samples to get started for free? I have my samples in three days. Three days. 
Three days, you sold all of your samples. And then you sold more samples after that, right? So that's what yeah, we um, want to talk about pre-selling is like how you had the confidence to do that and like how you just went and did it and didn't even think twice about it and how you went to the dentist and got like all of your teeth pulled oh, and, yeah, showed yeah. Up, and showed up to a Zoom that night and was yeah. watching training and made no excuses. That's the shit that we're talking about. That no yeah, I really attitude. Can. Like, that's what we want to hear about. I re, um, on the 21st of May, I had, I have a, re, I had a really bad gum infection and my teeth were decaying from the inside out. And I had all my teeth pulled. I had 23 teeth and my four wisdom teeth. So don't do that. So after I got them pulled, I was so doped up. Like, I don't know if y'all seen it or not. I don't know who's friends with me on Facebook. Like, I guess I went live on my Facebook and like I was all doped up. It was so embarrassing. I went back and had to delete the video. But that night I popped two pain pills and I was on Zoom. Um, I got up seven, seven hosts to post like right away after I got out and like I was off the um, like anesthesia. And then once I was off the anesthesia completely and we did our power hour, I got 24 hats up and I was so doped up, like I'm out of my mind, but I still did it. Um, I had to go back two days later because I had a dry socket up here. Um, they went in, numbed me, did that. I was in a lot of pain, pop pain, showed up to Zoom that night. Two days after that, I had another dry socket down here and I still showed up for my Zoom. Um, I definitely couldn't have done it without like Sabrina, Jessica, Courtney, and especially my boyfriend, like, he was super helpful with the baby. Um, but, yeah. Is that better? <laughs> yeah. Why are you going to leave that out? People. So um, I feel like I talk thing. too much. <laughs> no. Kelsey, you do not talk. You know who talks a lot? Me. And guess what? I'm fucking proud of it. Nothing to be ashamed about over here. Why are you ashamed of that? Speak your truth. I can talk for hours. Exactly. That's fine. Nobody's complaining about it. And if people want to complain about it, it's fine. <laughs> so no, I'm really, really proud of you. And I think that you're just like a no excuse type person. And guys, the girl that signed her up is Autumn. She's really, really good friends with her. Autumn quit. Autumn quit. Autumn's not in this business anymore. Even though she saw how much success she could have and how much success Chelsea's having, she quit. Does that mean that Chelsea's going to throw in the towel and not do this business? No, she just got herself a hundred and fifty dollar shop uh, shopping spree. Um, fast start today. Oh, and I just want to say, after I got my six LCs, and I had a total of eleven. I also signed a DT and got her six six LCs by myself because she quit without even putting any work into it. So let me tell you, when I was up till like four o'clock in the morning, I was up till four o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm still a little sleep deprived. Like I got up at like 10:30 today, fell asleep at during my therapy meeting on the phone. Like, <laughs> so I I try not to make uses. Um, Jess and Brina really help with that. Like they're really good at motivating. So like if they know something, like Danielle said, I think Danielle said it. I don't know who said it, but um, if one of your uplines knows something wrong, like they'll definitely message you. Like I had just messaged me the one day. I didn't get any life posts up, any stories, any host to post. And she's like, hey, what's wrong? And I'm like, you know, I'm just not feeling it today. She's like, you're not feeling it? Well, I'm not feeling it any other, any other day. And I have two babies and I still got mine up. So like after that, I got like four hats up. I got my stories up. I got like, I got most of it. Get off of that. Oh, grief. Um, but yeah, all I have to say is like, I don't know who, I don't know how long anyone's been here, but I recently got a binder and like these really pretty sleeves and like, I'm weird. So I have like the catalog here and then have the thingy that Jay told us to print off. I have my charts in here, my host of posts, like people who perform me in here. Definitely get a binder. It's very, very helpful. I think that's another really good tip. Yeah, and like, that's, there's that's, little, like, that's green in you. Green. 
<laughs> your personality, I can tell. <laughs> and like with his little like clear sleeves, like I can't tell you how many I have in here. Like it's ridiculous. I have so many clear sleeves in here. Just because it helps me stay organized. I'm a like with my ADHD, it helps me to be organized by color coding, by writing down, by like ripping up paper, taping it to a piece of paper and like explaining like this this works and like yeah but yeah okay I'm done talking now <laughs> yay I'm so excited to get to know you more Chelsea that was awesome I don't even know who's talking it's Jamie my camera friggin went oh. out <laughs> it's just me for some reason my camera stopped working because my computer skipped out but that was amazing um I cannot believe you got on a Zoom all drugged up after surgery on your mouth. Oh my God. Talk about no excuses and not slacking off at all. You, I need to learn from you, girl. Uh, I could do, before, before you go on, I could barely talk. I had cotton gauze in my mouth. Like I looked like oh a freaking bloody, bloody vampire because I had gauze in my mouth. I stood on Zoom. Like I just didn't care because, like, I knew if I wanted to get crap done, I had to show up. So that's what I did. Oh, I'm and I'm like, I'm like 400 or 500 away from getting Ruby, I think. I, think. I don't know, but like, I'm really, really close. Right. <laughs> that's awesome. Alrighty, I think where's Courtney? Courtney is our last speaker. I'm super excited to get to know you, Courtney, because I don't think we've had the pleasure of meeting yet. Um, excuse my no camera self, but when you are ready, girl, take it away. Hi, I'm Courtney. Um, I started this business in March and I actually started from a host to post that a mutual friend of mine and Sarah's put up for her. It was about a TFX host to post and I had messaged her and of course the pricing, I don't before this company, I am a single mom, and she's right here. Um, but I don't, I wasn't working at all. I live with my mom for now because when me and my daughter's dad split up, it went really badly. Um, and he's not really in the picture very much, so I have her full time. And I worked for two days out here in this town. And both of those days, she came home from the sitters with bruises and scratches. And the sitter story just wasn't adding up. So I just, I stopped taking her. I couldn't find anybody else. So I had to quit that job. And that's why I'm living with my mom right now. Um, so I messaged Sarah from the host post about TFX and since I didn't have any money, I told her I wouldn't get back to her about it. And then like the next day she put up a life post on her page about looking for people to join the business. So I messaged her and I was like, you have job openings and got information about that and it sounded like something I wanted to do because it would allow me to work from home and still be with my daughter full time. Um, and so I told her I would try free selling. Well, I put up the post February 27th um, about how I was starting the, this business and was looking for people who wanted to try the coffee um, didn't get any comments. I messaged family that I knew drank coffee and they didn't respond. So finally I messaged my grandma who drinks coffee and she's like, well, I don't really want to try it cause it's not a flavored coffee. And, but she gave me $20 anyways that I actually used as the, um, to start this business. Cause at the time they had the $69 promos for joining the business and then combining that with the Klarna app, which allows you to make payments. That's how I joined. Um, 
So March 1st, I signed up and I got, my first customer was my aunt, um, about a week into the business. And then the rest of the month, I couldn't get anybody. My family wasn't interested because they're skeptical and judgmental. <laughs> and then like my friends, I tried messaging. They're like, no, I want nothing to do with it. This doesn't sound real. I'm like, okay. So I started doing host to post and eventually I got more customers. I barely missed my shopping spree. Um, and I'm doing this business for my daughter. So that way I can actually get back on my own and provide for her entirely with this business. Um, no. No. Um, I guess one of the biggest things that has helped me the most is getting on the Zooms and staying close to everyone that's actually working um, and keeping myself motivated has been hard because I, I just I lose sight here and there and then I jump right back in with the Zoom and I get going again. Um, Please stop. Oh. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. I want you to take whatever you're feeling right now and I want you to just release it. I want you to release it. Okay? Um. You're good. Your baby, your, your beautiful daughter is not bothering me and I'm pretty sure she's not bothering anybody else on this Zoom. She's beautiful. She's kind. <laughs> She's your daughter and we love her like she's our own. She is not bothering us. So do not feel any type of way about it, first of all. And I want you just to release what's on your heart because I can tell by your face, you have a lot to say. You're just nervous. So yeah. just speak, speak your truth, honey. Speak your truth. There's no one going to judge you. I promise, like, you know that about us. She's not bothering us. Um. So, I struggle a lot with my mental health. Um, it started back in middle school when my third day at a new school, someone was already trying to get me to fight. Um, so that was fun. And then, um, in high school, I attempted suicide multiple times and my mom did nothing at all. She didn't believe me. She didn't want to believe me, whatever. Um, and the only reason I stopped back then was because my sister walked in one time when I was about to attempt suicide and she ran out of the room crying. So I stopped for her and my other sister um, because I realized then that they needed me and they still do um their dad is that they live with is an alcoholic and he's abusive but child services is not believing my sisters they're believing his parents instead um and in high school my senior year, my mom actually left me. She left to go be with her boyfriend in a semi truck. And they quit paying the bills. So I was bouncing houses. And they wanted me to move out here then. But I was in my senior year of high school. I earned my diploma. I wasn't about to switch schools and 
wonder if I'm still going to have that diploma earned. Um, so I bounced houses for a long time. Um, 2015, a few months after I graduated, I moved in with this guy I was dating and was in a second car crash that year, found out I was pregnant. Um, January 2016, I started a miscarriage and then he cheated on me. So I left him while I was having a miscarriage, ended up in the hospital from bleeding so much. And his family never liked me. And then he messages me like every couple months he'll message me because he'll create a new Facebook. I'll block him and then he creates a new one. And then I have to block that one every time. It's never ending. And this last time he messaged me, I was like, okay, I'll talk to him about the business. See if he wants to buy products because customer is a customer. Well, he kind of, he got mad and then blocked me. I was like, okay, maybe this will stop then. Nope. A few days later, he messaged me again. And so I blocked him. Um, but after that, I moved back in to my friends. After the miscarriage, I moved in with my friend and her mom. And as much as I love my friend, that house was not livable. The lights were always off. The water was shut off most of the time. Um, there's animals that never were cleaned up after. And it was, just, it was bad. We ate maybe once a day when I was there. Um, and my mom... Her boyfriend, well, ex now, um, anytime she wanted a break from him, she would ask me to go ride in the truck with him. The first time I thought, okay, you know, no big deal, whatever. I soon realized that was a big mistake because he's... He's very not mm, there's a lot of words for him and I ended up filing a police report against him and as soon as I gave them his name they had him pulled up because he has a record federal record that is sealed um and it took me a while before I told my mom because she didn't believe me when I attempted suicide. Why would she believe me about anything else? So I didn't tell her for a while. It took a couple years. I told her about two years ago. She was still with him. And then last year, she finally left him. She was finally able to get free. Um, because he was verbally abusive towards her and just like very controlling too. Like she wasn't allowed to go places. She wasn't allowed to see my sisters. Only reason she was able to see me was because I was living there because I had nowhere else to go. Um, and even with my daughter there, he still would constantly be banging on my bedroom door, trying to get in. And he would get mad and go off on my mom because I wouldn't, I wouldn't unlock the door. No. And I'm just glad she's finally away from him. For all of our safety. Please stop.
Uh oh. Her daughter logged her off. <laughs> Where'd she go? Is she coming back? No, we'll give it a second. See if she logs back in. Yeah, here she comes. She's coming. She's coming. She logged her off. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, Mom, we gotta go. Bye. <laughs> You're muted, honey. I'm I got muted. it. There we go. Okay. Go yeah, ahead. my daughter was just typing on the keyboard and it logged me off. <sighs> um, so, hello, hello. with this business, though, I'm hoping hey. to move, get back on my feet on my own, get a car, get my own place, provide for my daughter, because, I mean, my mom's helped out with her since we moved in with her, but her dad doesn't help out, and he, he'll ask about her once every few weeks, occasionally he'll ask to have her, but most of when we split up, we had an arrangement that he would get her every week on certain days. And that's not happened. Because um, his work constantly changes his schedule. And he refuses to tell them no about that. And... Mm, most of the time, whenever he's said he's going to come get her, he doesn't because his car has problems or at work or something comes up. His last excuse was he was going to someplace out of state for a Comic-Con event. I was like, really? You're, you're going to choose Comic-Con over your daughter? <laughs> okay. No! Yeah. Anyways, so that's that no. situation. No. What? Here. Well, I'm right here. You can climb up here. Mm. Okay, just a minute. Mm. Um. <laughs> I'm here. Watch Disney. Yes. Um. So I really, I don't have much help other than my mom and this business has helped me a lot actually. I've, I've made friends, <laughs> which is always nice because I don't have any other than people in this business. Um, and I've been able to actually buy pull-ups and wipes and stuff myself instead of having to ask other people to buy them. Um, like last month I paid my phone bill and bought pull-ups for the entire month, which was amazing because she goes through a lot. Because we're still in the beginning stages of potty training, but she loves being in here when I'm working and most of the time if I have my host of post tracker out or my work papers she'll want to color too while I'm writing so that we spend time together even when I'm working which is something I love about this business um and the the coffee I love our coffee my first two weeks of drinking Skinny Brew, I lost 16 pounds. I gained it all back, but I lost it. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to see how this goes. Yes, I do post Zooms sometimes. Um, mostly just working sessions and if people have questions i try to answer them um, sorry i'm reading chats because there's a lot of them um but 
when I do, like, I feel like the zooms help keep me focused because I get distracted really easily. Like, if I'm on Facebook, I go to put a life post up and then suddenly I'm scrolling for an hour. <laughs> or if I go to make a TikTok, I end up not making a TikTok and just scrolling all night. It's, that's just how I am. So the Zooms help keep me focused, and that's why I host them a lot of times. Um, and I actually signed my first distributor my second month in, and she, she seemed really excited about working and then hasn't done anything. But my newest my new distributor, my second one, was going last month, already has like three or four customers. So I'm actually really excited and I keep trying to get her on the Zoom, but she doesn't have any uh, oh. So. Um, I've noticed my biggest problem is distributors, trying to get them. Because, um, like, I've created an application on Google and everything, and I have 14 people that put in an application, and then they never respond. And I don't know if I'm just going about it the wrong way, or what that is. Um, I know one person said they wanted to work, but they're not 18 yet. And I Sorry. <laughs> um, but I think the biggest thing that helps me is the Zooms and Zoom post to post. Oh, Courtney, I can't really hear you because of the, the noise in the background. You can the one, baby. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm kind of jealous that I want to watch Disney too, but, you know. <laughs> I just couldn't hear you. I was like, I can't hear her. I can't hear her. But go ahead. So, so I wanted to ask you a question because I know what you're talking about. So when you, when you say that you're having a problem with distributors, where do you think that problem is rooted in? Probably myself. Because okay. <laughs> I know I get, I like, I always doubt myself. And so when I'm doubting myself is usually when I'm talking to people. Um, I'm working on that. It's a slow process. Because um, I know I usually, um, I'll sit there and I'll message them. And while I'm typing it down, I'm like, they're not going to respond. They're, they're not. And then they don't. And then I get discouraged and... Yeah, so, so when you do that, right, this is not just for you. This is for everybody. If you go into having a conversation with somebody with a negative mind frame, that mm -hmm. is what you are projecting out into the universe. Guess what you are going to get back? Negativity. Exactly. So you know what you need to do to be successful. You just need to show up consistently and every time that you have a negative thought, you have to replace it with 10 positive ones. This person is going to sign up. This person is going to message me back about this application excitedly. This person is gonna be an amazing distributor. This person on my team may not be working, but I am going to sign up 10 people that do. It's about your mindset. Because the shit that we do every single, I shouldn't swear, this is recording, but you guys, you know what? I don't care. This is who I am. Um, the stuff that we do every single day is the same for me, for Alicia, for Courtney, for Tish, for Cindy. We do the exact same things as everybody else every single day. Every single day. You guys have to show up consistently in your chats if you are not in your chats, if you are not active in your chats, you're not close to the fire. And if the fire is where you feel the warmest, why are you not sitting next to it? 
Do you want to be cold? Do you want to be distant? No. Brett said no. <laughs> so why are you stepping away from the fire? Why are you actively choosing to not be active in your chats? Why are you actively choosing not to hop on Zooms? Why are you actively choosing the things that are not going to keep you close to the fire? And the thing is, is as you guys can see, everybody that spoke on this Zoom tonight had past traumatic traumas, right? They had past traumas. They're all different. Everybody's different. Everybody's lived a different life, but they've all had trauma. So what is the difference of one of you guys being successful and not the other? Nothing. There's nothing different about you guys. You guys are all worthy in your own like way. Do you know what I mean? Like you guys offered a story like you guys, first of all, I'm very proud of every single one of you that spoke about your story and spoke about it openly and freely. That takes a whole shit of courage. Oh my gosh. You guys should be very, very proud of yourself that you can, I can only imagine very scary, very unnerving, very like nerve wracking, um, you guys should be very proud that you spoke up about it because guess what? You're going to change someone's life. You are going to impact somebody else to the full extent. And you thought that you were nothing. You thought that you didn't deserve to be here. You thought people, you know, didn't give two craps about you. People do, but you know, who can't care about you more, you know, who, 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 who can't care about you the most is you. You need to care about yourself the absolute most because if you don't care about yourself, how are other people going to come around you and, and you know, be around you and love you and do all this stuff? You have to allow them. You have to care about yourself first so that way you can grow and help others, right? And then in return, that helps you. So I'm very, very proud of everybody that came on here and that spoke your truth. I'm very, very proud of you guys. It takes a lot of courage. Everybody give them so much encouragement. Um, Brett's clapping in the background. I can see. Oh, there you go. You guys can see him. He's right there. Um, Brett's clapping in the background for you guys. And the thing is, is like, it's, it's, it's funny. I mean, it's not funny, but that's funny. We are, we are the ones that hold ourselves back the most. And we are the ones that cause the most damage to ourselves internally because we don't think that we're worthy. We don't think that we deserve this. We don't think that we're worthy of ruby or emerald or diamond. And we allow so much outside negativity inflict on our inner worth. And the thing is, is who gives a shit what other people think? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You guys are trying to get approval from people who do not matter. Like, they don't matter because they don't even support you. Like who cares about them? You don't have to care about them. You went what you went through. You got, you know, you got dealt the, the deck of cards. I mean, I always say this for me, but I'm going to say it for you guys. You guys got handed that deck of cards. Yes, that deck of cards fucking sucked. All right. Am I going to say it? It sucked. Okay. That deck of cards that you got handed sucked. But look where you are. Did you not play the cards? You did. Because you had no other choice but to play the cards. So you guys are here anyway. Because you guys didn't give up. You guys, you know, push through the hard time. You know? You guys played the deck that was handed to you. That's it. What are you what are you gonna do? I like new decks and I cannot lie. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can reinvent yourself. You can go get a new deck, right? A hundred percent. You can become a, you know, a, a better person. You can better yourself. But the fact that all of you guys had that shitty hand and still played it and are where you are right now, that speaks volumes to who you guys are. That speaks volumes. You don't have to keep playing with that deck. So now that you played it, go get a new deck. You're here for a reason. Nobody, nobody forced you here. You were here because you were called here. You were here because there was something in you that legitimately was like, oh, okay, I need to do this. Like, I want you guys to sit here and think about why you click the submit button. You didn't click the submit button for shits and giggles. 
pretty sure that that's not a reason why you guys did it. <laughs> so you need to go back to why you clicked that submit button and why you are on this Zoom right now and if they align. Because if they align, that's your why and you need to make sure that that why is never your excuse to not work your business. Ever. Ever. Because if you allow your why to be your excuse to not do the things that you have set yourself up to do, what else is going to hold you accountable? A book? A Zoom? Me? Courtney? We're not, we don't have that power to hold you accountable. Your why is the only strongest thing that you have to hold you accountable in doing the things. That's it. So if you are not where you want to be, write down where you want to be and go do the work and you will get there. I'm telling you right now, I told Yami this earlier and I told Jessica Drake and Cindy, actually, I told all three of them today. You have to be the best distributor on your team. You have to be the rock star distributor on your team. Because if you are not the rock star distributor, how dare you think anybody else should be a rock star distributor on your team? How dare you put that on somebody else? You need to be your best distributor because you cannot expect anybody else to be the best distributor on your team. You have to show up as that leader and you have to push forward. Guys, I ate a buffalo wrap and I'm like dying over here. <laughs> and I can't breathe. <laughs> I want to go video you, and every time you said something, <laughs> like, oh, not video. Courtney's trying to video me. She's like, every time you, you I go to video, you're something like, inspirational for my Instagram. Oh my, oh my god, guys, I have to unbutton my pants. That's not Shit. very reset week like. I know, guys. Listen, and we're and we're recording. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Ready? So, Courtney wants me to say something inspirational. Let me think of something for you guys. Okay. Let me think about what I talked about today. Don't half ass. Danielle said you're so real. What did you say? Huh? Don't half ass. Two things, whole ass, one thing. Oh, okay. That's true. Oh, so that's very true. So this actually came up. <laughs> Brett mentioned it. Brett has it written on Courtney's office board, and it's actually really, really good. It says, don't half ass two things, whole ass, whole ass one thing. So like that is the epitome of doing something wholeheartedly. Like don't do like, don't wake up, right? Like this is, this is what I don't want you guys to do. Don't wake up and be like, okay, I'm going to send three messages and then I'm going to go do six slides on Instagram. And then I'm going to go follow three people on Facebook. And then I'm going to go um, do a quick video. And then I'm going to go do this. Do you guys see that that's not, functional because you're doing all of these little tiny things instead of focusing on one task and completing it completely. So this is why when we do like host to post and stuff, I preach, send your 30 messages first, because I guarantee you, if you send five and you get four responses and you go answer them, are you ever going to finish the 30? No, you will forget, you will get distracted. You, and you know what? This business is meant for busy people. This business is meant, you can send 30 messages in two minutes, like not even. Do you know what I mean? So I think you guys have to write down, what do you want? What were you thinking when you hit that submit button and where, where is your mind right now? You have to be how excited you were and how nervous you were to hit that submit button. You have to be that every day because that was when you were the most on fire and that's when you were the most eager and that's when you were the most ready to learn. You have to be like that every single day. Bring yourself back to the time that you hit that submit button and do that every single day. Ooh, girl, preach. Go ahead, Courtney. Unmute yourself. 
Um, so I forgot to mention one thing that I've always wanted to do since I was little um, was criminology. And I had looked up a few years ago after I graduated high school that most places when you're trying to get a job in criminology want you to have at least a doctorate. <laughs> And they prefer, though, like a, basically it's an equivalent of a PhD except in psychology. Um, so for years now, I've been putting off going back to school because I was just like, oh, the time's not right. And I finally realized about a month, month and a half ago, the timing's never going to be right. And so... I finally, I started school back last month and I am actually using my checks to make payments towards the classes. <laughs> so that way I don't have a whole bunch of loans piling up. And I'm finally starting that journey all while taking care of an almost three year old and working this business. Um, yeah, so. Okay, so that's amazing. I am so proud of you. And that is something that you should talk about every single day. That is literally a life post every single day. Do you know that? Don't ever feel like you're repetitive with your life post because guys, it's your life. That's literally your life. <laughs> you want to be, you want to go into criminology. That's your life. Talk about that shit every single day. Talk about how it works is making, you know, that happen, making payments on it and then put an IDS statement in your life post because y'all got to be compliance safe. Okay. It's important. Put in that income disclosure statement. All right. But don't ever feel like you're repetitive. That's the whole point. That's the whole point is to be repetitive, to talk about what your dreams and what your aspirations and what your goals are every single day. If you are flip-flopping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, people are gonna think you're a flake. People are gonna think that you're not consistent and that you don't know what you want. Preach about it every single day. Talk about it every single day. Do you know how many times I've talked about RVing the country? Honey, I'm going to talk about that every single day, even when I'm doing it. She's buying it next week. <laughs> she's, she's buying it next week. <laughs> I'm buying it soon. Um, but the thing is, is that, like, it holds you accountable. It holds you accountable. I've been talking about RVing since I was in middle school. If you don't talk about the things that you want to do, it goes into the back of your mind and it's not important anymore. It becomes mundane. You're like, oh yeah, like I've wanted to do that. Talk about it. Stop being like, oh, I feel like I'm being repetitive. Like nobody cares about my story. No, you feel like nobody cares about your story. You are the one that feels that way. Stop feeling that way. You're just doing self-harm. That's it. That's all you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, there is no age limit. There is no race. There is no, you know, judgment on what you can do. We are all different. Do you guys see who's on this Zoom? We don't fit into like this cookie cutter type environment. We are so diverse and we have so many people that are from different walks of life that have different stories. But do you see how we all connect? because we are all here for a reason. We want more and we deserve more. The only ones that can give us more is ourselves, not your upline, not your downline, not your sidelines, nothing, absolutely nothing. You are the only ones that can do the best thing for you and that can motivate yourselves. Okay. Motivation is fleeting. Oh, I'm motivated. I'm going to go work out today and then not work out for six months. No, you need discipline. You need discipline. Yes, Chelsea, you can talk. Of course you can.
Okay, so it's nothing, like, really important, but, like, whenever Courtney said that, I heard something today. It was, like, your dreams don't have an expiration date. Take a deep breath and try again. Like, I wanted to share that earlier, but, like, I totally forgot until Courtney said about her wanting to go into, like, criminology. Because I wanted to go back to school, and, like, the timing's never going to be right, you know? I had my teeth pulled this year. I had my son last year. Like, the whole coronavirus thing, like, there's there's always going to be something but it's my dream to go back to school but it doesn't have an expiration date I can go back when I'm 54 if I want to I just got to stand back take a breath and like it'll all be okay oh my god everybody wants to share unmute yourselves <laughs> share away I'm excited Ooh. okay go ahead unmute yourself and share okay I just want to share something um so I've been going through a divorce for almost three years and Monday I will have my boys 50 50 and I'm going to cry because their dad has always said to me, you look like a fool saying that you'll fight for your boys. And for the past two weeks, that has been my life story on my post. But somebody reached out to me today and said, like they related to that. And so like, I'll stay in contact with her because like at some point I firmly believe that she'll become a customer, like an LC or possibly a DT because she can relate to me because like I knew that fighting, like his only complaint against me was that I was an addict. So yeah, I was an addict eight years ago. Who gives a crap that I was an addict? I'm clean and I've been clean. So what do you have against me at this point? My boys, love me and they care about me so I don't have a relationship with my daughter but that doesn't make me a bad mom so everybody has a story and everybody has a past but that doesn't make you who you are your past doesn't define who you are today so you just got to keep fighting keep going that's all I'm gonna cry Ah, uh, I can't. Like, do you guys not understand what we have? Like, do you guys, like, do you guys see this? Like, am I blunt? Like, or, ooh, I don't even know what to say. Okay. Where else are you going to find this? I just want to say this real quick. Where else are you going to find something uh -huh. so wholehearted, right? So wholehearted. Like, we care about each other. We care about you guys. Like we care, like there's literally no other way to say it, but we care. We want you to care about yourself and we want you to fight for what you want and what you deserve. Like Jolie said, who gives a shit what happened in the past? Yes, it hurt. Yes, it was painful. It was a lesson. It was learned or you, it was trauma and you grew from it. It doesn't define who you are today and it will never define you ever. So stop using it to define you. Stop allowing it to hinder your dreams. Stop using it as an excuse to not go after shit because you are stronger than that. Stop letting it win. Stop letting it take hold of you and drown you. Stop, stop. You are the only one that can stop it. Stop it by doing personal development. Stop it by growing yourself. Stop it by getting closer to God if that's something that you want to do. Stop it by working on yourself, by being close to your team, by being close to the fire, you know, reaching out to people that have stories. Would you guys have known anything about any, any of each other? Like if you guys didn't speak up and open your mouths? No, open your mouths, be loud, speak your truth. You don't know who you are impacting. You don't know who you're going to come in contact with, you guys. You don't know. Your life can change from signing one distributor and that distributor can go ambassador diamond. What if you sign a jade? Have you guys thought about that? Jade came from a broken home. She came from being poor. She came from hanging sheets up in her, in her apartment to keep the heat in. That's who our ambassador diamond is. You can, ha you can sign someone like Jade. You can be Jade. Who said that you cannot be Jade?
You tell yourself to shut up and that you can do it. Okay. Anybody else? Because <laughs> your girl's sweating over here. Come on. Who has something to say? I know somebody we does. We ended at 9.30 last time, so we got 10 more I know, minutes. we got 10 more minutes. We're ending at 9.30. We're making it a, we're making it a trend to go till 9.30. Who has something to say? Come on. Let's hear it. Emily Y'all are more supportive than my own mom. Like, I can't, I lost two customers because the lady went out on my page and found out I was bisexual, and she said, I'm a believer in God, and I can't order from someone like you. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm a believer in God. I got the Holy Spirit, and here I am. I have had no one else complain. So, like, y'all are so supportive. Like, I wish I could get this much support from my mom. Well, we're your adoptive family, and y'all stuck with us, whether you like it or not. Okay? I don't know what else to tell you guys. Aw, Harvey. You're cute. <laughs> Harvey loves us too. Let's see. Can you see him? No. Oh shit. No. He's right here. Oh, the Harvey man. Oh, Chloe, stay there. <laughs> <laughs> no one loves you, Chloe. Chloe, I love you. <laughs> okay, so we're ending it. Um, I guess final few words, and then also talk about the BV. Oh yes. Okay. Contest. So contest. We have the. You know what is it? GV, con it's a GV contest. We're getting to the next thousand or two thousand, is it? We're at three. We're at three thousand. Almost, away. almost okay. We're almost at three thousand. We're three hundred away. So less than. Le less than. Less than. Less than. <laughs> less than three hundred. Got it ready. Away. I told her to say it. <laughs> and you forgot. I forgot. I mean, I'm not surprised. Two hundred and seventy-nine to be exact away from the next. Prize. What Barbara, is <laughs> it is, you're going to find out right now, honey. It is a GV contest that we are doing for the team. So for every LC that you sign, you go in the comments and you drop the BV of that LC and you like count it down um, or count it, up, count it up, count it up to the next number. We can tell you in your chat how to do it. Um, and then when we hit no. the next 1,000, which is in 279, we, we put everybody that entered into that thousand and we do a giveaway, which is really, really awesome. So it's for every LC that you sign. It's for every personal order that you place and for every personal order that your customers do. So very, very, very good. We also have an auto check. Oh, Danielle just boomed. Danielle! Danielle boomed. Did Danielle just boom? Yeah. Yes, Danielle. No, that was from earlier, but I think I am about to boom, though. Oh, oh snap. <laughs> oh, snap. Okay. So I'm very, very proud of everybody. We also have an auto ship giveaway. So if you did not see the auto ship one, you can go on Passport to Diamond, search auto ship giveaway, I'm pretty sure, or do you yep. have it pinned at the top? top. It's top. Courtney has it pinned at the top. If you can't find it, let us know. We'll help you. But if you run an ADBV or more auto ship this month, you can enter to win that giveaway. If you already had an auto run this month, you can enter it, right? It's this yep. month. Okay. Any auto ship that you have ran this month is eligible. So go drop it in there if you haven't. Okay. So you can be a part of that giveaway. And, and oh my God, so much. Customers. Oh, Every six loyal customers that you sign, you get a hundred dollars. So remember that. For every six customers that you sign, you get a hundred dollars. Is it commissions or is it like a fast start? Fast start. Ooh, so it's paid weekly. So if you sign six customers tonight, you will get the hundred dollars by next Thursday. $100 cash, what would that do for you guys, right? So make sure you guys are getting your LCs. Um, and then what else? Um, doing a 10-day recruiting. So if you send at least three, oh, you want to be included. Snap. Okay, so we announced, we have a group chat on Messenger. We announced that we're doing a 10-day Ruby like recruiting, it's like to go Ruby. It's like a recruiting chat. So it teaches you how to get distributors. If you are not part of this chat, 
to be eligible to be a part of it, you have to have three loyal customers. If you do not have three loyal customers, we're going to get that shit done tonight. So message your upline and we're going to do it. So that way you get in that chat. Okay. Okay, good. Um, Because it started today. So you want to be a part of it. Jade is actually sending trainings for us. Like she's sending them to Courtney and then Courtney is sending it and utilizing it in the chat. And Jade is voice messaging personally for us. That's huge, guys. Like she's our ambassador diamond and she cares. Like she cares. Okay. Yeah. And she makes a shit ton of money. So like, that's like my aspiration. Like I'm, I'm about that life. Um, so if you want to be in the recruit, Emily, you can be in the recruiting chat. What do you mean? Get in it. I want a recruiting chat. (laughs) So it's basically amazing. I know Chelsea is in it. Destiny's in it. A bunch of you guys are in it already. So it's really, really amazing. Um, Chelsea already printed out all the stuff. I absolutely love it. <laughs> and if you have teammates, like em, Emily, if you have teammates that want to be in it, that have at least enrolled three customers, you can get them in there. Yeah. I and think no, Megan Olson's in there. Yeah. No, Emily, you can be there if you're working for more than Ruby. It's just for like, it's help people go Ruby. Do you know what I mean? But it can be anybody. Like anybody can be in there. I'm in there. Courtney's in there. Leaders yeah. are in there. Tish, Brett's in there. Guys, Brett's in there. That's huge. Um, I'm a triple. Tish is like, you're a triple. Yeah, Brett's a triple. He's yeah, a triple. so if you guys want to be in it, definitely in it. And then every month we're going to do it probably. So at the beginning of July, I will have a chat just for like people who knew are going Ruby. So if you as leaders want to be in it just to like get refreshed on like life posting, connecting with people, all of that, and then be able to teach that to your teams too definitely message me um, to be in there. And then the qualifications for going forward. So like every month, if we do this, your distributor just needs at least three customers personally assigned. Boom. Done. Oh, wow. That's really low. Okay. Done. So anybody else have anything to add? We have a couple minutes left till 930. Any last thoughts? This is an open floor. Say what's on your heart. Say whatever you want. Jessica Drake, I want in. I thought you were in it. Maybe not. If you want into the group and you have three loyal customers already, message your upline and we will get you in. Message your group chats and we will get you into the group. No worries. You have to scroll back up and look at what today's was. There's homework for showing your journal and stuff tonight. So just make sure you guys catch up. Yeah, if you guys get added in a little later. Yep. Super excited. Nobody has anything to add? We good? Hey, Sabrina. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Can I say something? Oh, yeah. Honey, you, you guys do not have to. Am I your mom's? Like, you guys do not have to ask. Unmute yourselves and speak it. Hey. Um, yeah. I just wanted to say that for the six customers and the $100, um, they are 75% through that 150000 So push, push, push. Just because it's not until Sunday, like you, you might think in your mind, like, oh, I have till Sunday. No, you want to act like you have till tonight and push, push, push. I am one more customer away from my second hundred dollars. I got it last week. I'm about to get one, another loyal customer tonight to get my six. And then I'm pushing for six more by Sunday to get another hundred dollars. So like just push you guys because at the end of the day, like sometimes even I do it like we say we want change, but then we give ourselves excuses to not change. So like, it'll be like, oh, I want to lose weight, but I really love food. Or I want to be a morning person, but I really love to sleep. Well, yeah, everybody loves to eat and everybody likes to sleep, but you want money or what? Like, it's pretty much just it. So just like, get it, like, get it, get it, get it. That's it. There's nothing else to say. Just get it. (laughs) Yes, dude, me and Yaya are like, crackhead energy all the time like, <laughs> yeah you guys need your own zoom we need our own zoom let's go <laughs> seriously <laughs> guys i didn't eat like okay mind you this is my day i didn't eat like all day i didn't have my coffee because i'm driving back to boston tonight and i didn't have my coffee because i wanted to drink it before i went because i'm gonna be driving through the night and then i literally didn't eat all day i ate like a bag of m&ms <laughs> this oh my is really God. Bad. i know it was bad <laughs> So I got like really like energy, energy, energy. So you want to lose weight, but eat them and them. You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. 
I'm going to do it though. I'm starting the, what is it, her name? Chloe, Chloe Ting. Chloe Ting. Chloe Ting. I'm starting that. That's going to be really, really good. I'm excited for it. Good luck. Um, <laughs> that's not motivating. Good luck. Courtney. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Okay. I know, and Oreos. Okay. I'm really, really proud of all of you guys. Give yourselves a pat on the back for showing up to the Zoom, being present. Um, you guys are worthy. You guys are freaking deserving of this. Stop telling yourselves that you don't deserve shit. Stop. I'm telling you right now, stop doing it. Just do it. The more that you, the more time that you spend wallowing in a corner, you could be doing shit and making big changes. I'm just going to lay out flat and say it. Stop. Just stop. All that Tell yourself you're a queen and just go. Yes. Like, be the queen that you were born to be and go. Nobody can't tell you shit. Like, that. you have to walk around like your shit don't stink. And that's just it. Like, that's it. Yes. Okay. Well, I love you guys. Um, if anybody else has anything else to say, say it now before you hold your peace, man. I'll forever hold your peace. Hold your peace. <laughs> um, but I love you guys. Jamie? I don't know if you have to stop the recording or no. Yo no sé. All I smell is flowers and it smells so nice. Courtney's favorite quote is screw the pooch. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, what the hell does that mean? I was like, what? Screw the pooch. Don't screw the pooch, people. Just don't do it. Just do it. Jamie, stop the recording. If stop you stopping. Okay. <laughs>